Okay, so here we go. The question is, this code works, but why? All right, so what we have here is a definition uh, of a filter that we Googled for on the internet. Uh, and we also have a use of it uh, using some goofy lambda thing, and somehow it produces the right answer. That is to say, it returns only the lists, uh, the numbers that are smaller than five. And the question is why? And the easiest way to see how this works is actually to use the stepper, which is wonderful because I wrote it. Okay, so before we take a look at it this way, uh, let's take a look at it in a funny different way. Let's say define less than five of x is less than x five. Uh, that is to say, we're going to try to take the confusing part out and then put it back in. Okay, so here we go. We've got a definition of less than five. Uh, works like this. And, and sure enough, it does work. All right. And so the question is, what happens as this thing gets evaluated? Specifically, my filter doesn't actually seem to call less than five anywhere. What the heck is going on? All right. Uh, let's see what the stepper has to say about this. What happens when we make the call to my filter of less than five? Tra la la! Now we are waiting for the spinning beach ball. Oh my. We're really using pretty much all of our memory, aren't we? Okay. Uh, all right. So, what's going on here? The call to my filter has two arguments less than five and this big old list. How is it that we make a call? Well, if you're in seventh grade, in fact, it turns out even when you're in you know, 12th grade, 13th grade, the way that we make function calls is by using substitution. That is to say, we're going to take this definition of my filter, right, and we're going to copy it down here. We're going to copy the body of it, and we're going to paste less than five in for every instance of pred and list 4819 in for every instance of list. So what do we got here? We got a body over here. And now, everywhere where we used to have pred, now we have less than five. Okay, so after we've pasted less than five in for every instance of pred, all of a sudden this thing makes a lot more sense. Why? Because it's no longer saying pred of first of list. It's now saying less than five of first of list 4819. And that's something that we can actually evaluate. Specifically, we check to see whether this list is null. It's not, so we need to discard that case. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the first of list 4819. That turns out to be 4. And then we get less than 5 of 4. And the phone is ringing. Should I pick it up? I think I should not. Hopefully, this makes it a little more clear what's going on. I think I should stop now.